Every NBA trade season has the potential to be spectacular. Of course, not all of them follow through on their promises, but there are reasons to anticipate that the 2021-22 campaign will live up to the expectations. The championship race had the appearance of being wide open. Already, it appears like the playoff races will be decided by a hair's breadth. As salary cap space becomes increasingly scarce next offseason, teams considering significant changes may be forced to complete their trades before the deadline. And oh yeah, there already are a few well-known names circling around the rumor mill. What kind of player might be available, and of what caliber? Because we're here to bring together the top 8 names in trade discussions and rank them according to trade worth, which includes everything from age and talent to contract cost and ease of adaptability to a new setting, it's amusing that you should ask. Number 8. CJ McCollum of the Portland Trailblazers CJ McCollum and Karis LeVert, two scoring guards who can create for themselves and their teammates while still playing mediocre defense on their best days, nearly forced to a coin flip to determine who would finish first and second in our rankings due to the cutoff for our rankings. Levert may make a compelling case for this position because he's younger, has greater size, and is substantially less expensive. However, McCollum is the winner by a hair because his injury history is considerably cleaner, and because his scoring incorporates higher volume and superior efficiency than the other candidates. The trade winds have swirled close enough to McCollum that he can speak to them directly now. His offensive prowess is enough to draw on a large number of defenders, but his limitations beyond the defense, he's more of a scoring point guard with insufficient playmaking ability for the position, are worrying enough to make him replaceable. At number 7, Miles Turner of the Indiana Pacers. Despite the fact that Miles Turner is no new name to the rumor mill, when his name resurfaced in a report that the Indiana Pacers were moving forward towards a substantial rebuild, it appears that Turner had had enough and decided to retire. In an interview with The Athletic's Jared Weiss, Turner stated, It's clear that I'm not being valued as anything more than a glorified role player here, and I want something more, more opportunity. When it comes to whether the trade market agrees with him that he can be more than a glorified role player, it will be intriguing to see. Turner is a superb paint protector, leading the NBA in blocks for the third time in four seasons, but his offensive production has never risen above a level that is complementary to his defensive ability. He has never averaged more than 15 points per game and has made double-digit shots twice in his career. Turner doesn't appear to be a two-way star, which explains why he receives such a low ranking. Although it's possible that he has more dimensions to his offensive game than we realize, we just can't take his word for it. As a result, while he benefits from the fact that he can easily fit into most squads, his limited offensive effect will prevent him from rising much further in the rankings. At number 6, Jeremy Grant of the Detroit Pistons would Jeremy Grant have a higher ranking on this list if he hadn't been sidelined for at least the next six weeks as a result of thumb operation? Probably so. The most significant drawback to his trade worth, though, is a stat sheet that is deficient in virtually all relevant areas of performance. It was reasonable to be skeptical going into Grant's eye-opening 2020-21 season, during which he set a series of personal bests and finished second in the most improved player poll. That kind of offensive weapon was something he has never done before last season. His effectiveness suffered as a result of the increase in volume last season, and it has continued to decline this season. To put it bluntly, Grant isn't equipped to be the number one option on a solid team. As reported, combined with the fact that he's only signed until next season, could explain why the Detroit Pistons are fielding calls for his services. If Grant were to be placed on a win-now roster, his defensive efficiency would soar. The fact that he's probably the third option on a great team means that his scoring rate will decline, but this should be offset by higher shooting percentages. At number 5, Harrison Barnes of the Sacramento Kings Harrison Barnes is the one who should get the most attention from teams interested in trading for him. The Sacramento Kings have a number of trade assets to offer suitors, including Buddy Heald for anyone looking for shooting and Marvin Bagley III for anyone interested in seeing how he develops. Barnes, who is expected to be on the market, falls into that murky region between being a star and being overpowered as a supporting player. Even while it may come out as a slight, it is meant in the most flattering way possible. However, while Barnes has the ability to perform at the level of a star, he does not come at the expense of a star. He's owed $38.6 million in salary through the end of next season, and he will not step on the toes of any full-fledged stars on the team. There are a few better players on this list, but Barnes would be one of the easiest players to integrate into a new squad if he were to join one. With his defensive versatility, three-point shooting ability, and solid or better supplemental abilities, he's the type of two-way big forward that every great club either wants or already has on the roster. At number 4, Christian Wood of the Houston Rockets. Christian Wood is a difficult player to rank because this is only his third season as a rotational player, and all those seasons have been spent with mediocre teams. 
That doesn't rule out the possibility of him being a good stats on a bad team type of player, but there are concerns about how well his defense would hold up when leading a club with immediate playoff aspirations. Having said that, he comes in fourth place overall on this list, indicating that he possesses some incredibly intriguing characteristics. Wood is 6'10", with a 7'4 wingspan, so he moves like a perimeter player, but he has the size to play in the paint. He has the ability to block shots, bury long-range attempts, and even generate offense off the dribble when necessary. This season, he is limiting opponent's shooting percentage near the rim to a lower percentage than Anthony Davis, and he's averaging more points per isolated possession than Bradley Beal. Wood's contract is only guaranteed through next season, which may explain to why the Houston Rockets appear to be willing to listen to offers for him. However, his contract is one of the NBA's best bargains, $28 million over this season and next season, making him one of the league's best bargains. He should have a lot of interest on the market since he has the ability to make immediate contributions as a ball screener who can roll and pop as well as be an active defensive man. At number 3, DeMontis Sabonis of the Indiana Pacers. DeMontis Sabonis' style is not for anyone, and that is understandable. Teammates will have to trust that they have the correct front court components to protect and spread the floor around him, as he's neither a rim protector nor a floor spacer. It's possible that those who are able to bring in Sabonis will be able to secure the most productive player on the market. During the previous season, he was the only player in the league to average 20 points, 12 rebounds, and 6 assists per game. As of this season, he's averaging 18.3 points, 11.8 rebounds, and 4.2 assists, which puts him into statistical company with the rest of the team. Instead, he is content with the fact that reigning MVP Nikola Jokic is the only other player who has cleared those requirements. With his ability to move the ball, Sabonis can serve as an attacking hub on the elbow while also being a blast from behind the arc or on the low block. Aside from that, he's under contract until 2023 through 2024 and won't cost more than $20 million in any of the four seasons, which is an insanely fantastic deal for a 24-year-old All-Star. At number 2, Kyrie Irving of the Brooklyn Nets. In this case, it would be tempting to simply use the emoji for the shoulder shrug and move on with the study, because Kyrie Irving is virtually hard to rank. On the one hand, he's the most talented player in this group by far, which has to count for something. He might have the best ball handling in basketball history, and his soft touch has recently generated a 50-40-90 splash rate. Few players can equal his combination of points and assists, which is 26.9 and 6.0 respectively last season. Unlike the other players, though, he hasn't played a single game this season because of New York City's vaccine requirements. He also doesn't have the best injury history, and he has the ability to opt out of his contract this summer, a 36.5 million player option for 2022 through 2023. There have even been rumors that Irving may retire if the Brooklyn Nets sell him, which of course, Irving denied. The Nets can't seem to figure out how much he's worth. The team was allegedly open to discussing trades for Irving before reversing course on an earlier decision and allowing him to return to the lineup as a part-time player. There are times when this ranking appears to be far too high, and other times when it appears to be far too low. According to the certain Goldilocks logic, this should imply that the product is indeed just right. Irving might have the single greatest impact on this year's championship race if he's transferred, but his inability to secure long-term employment places him a rung below the top spot on this ranking. At number 1, Ben Simmons of the Philadelphia 76ers. Ben Simmons' extended period of time on the stock market should not be considered a negative factor. Aside from his skill level, he is a unique predicament, as in prime all-stars under the age of 25 are practically never ever mentioned in the rumors mill. Simmons is essentially a one-of-a-kind 6'11 playmaker who stands out from the crowd. The fact that he is only one of a few stoppers in the league who can defend all five spots besides his lack of shooting ability, which causes his team's spacing to be squeezed and his passiveness to be problematic. To put it another way, you understand why the Philadelphia 76ers are asking for the impossible. According to reports, there are perhaps 30 players they would consider accepting in a trade. However, it's apparent why they were shopping him even before he requested a transfer. Simmons is penalized in these rankings for the ease with which he may be adjusted, as both his strength and shortcomings must be taken into consideration when assembling his supporting cast. Teams interested in acquiring him will have to clear a significant amount of touches for him, even if they want to use him as a ball screening front court player. His teammates must provide appropriate spacing around him so that the offense can breathe and eager runners so that his transition game can be effective. To put it another way, it won't be a low maintenance move, but more than a few teams will believe he's worth the time and the trouble. Despite his flaws, he's still the number one overall pick who won first of the year accolades, was selected to three all-star games, was named to two all-defensive teams, and was even named to the all-NBA second team in his rookie season. 
He's also under contract through 2024 through 25, which means he'll likely continue to be the focal point of the team that he plays for for the foreseeable future. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Tip Top Sports, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. See you all next time.